and now I'm like, oh my god, I've, I'm found some diamonds here, and I mine them. I'm like, oh, how am I gonna get back? And I think it's right click or not. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Fanflix? It's Zeblis here, and welcome to another episode of The Odyssey. This is episode 5. Last time we made a backpack, and we made a good portal to a different part of the overworld, where we didn't go yet. But, right now, I actually went there. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second what I changed. Like, I don't have a grass carpet anymore. I changed it into colored clay. I uh, read the comments and I saw that some people were extremely jelly of my grass carpet because it was so awesome and stuff. And all the plants that were growing inside of my house, which is totally green and good for the environment. But no, everyone had to <laughs> play mean comments about it. So I replaced, uh, for your sake, my grass carpet with some nice stained clay in a nice pattern that I made up. So what did I do? Uh, actually, I'm not going to show you what I did. Uh, first we're going to do, uh, I'm going to read the comment for this time, which is by Pikachu0813, who says, decorate your house with the Bibliocraft mod items. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, let me first grab a sign and the stone that we have, and then I will show you everything that we have done. So I need to cook stone again. I should actually make a big stack of that sometime. Like, I, I, I keep just making it all over again every time. Let's take my hammer. I still got a sign. That's awesome. Um, that's really handy for this moment. Um, this is all the items for Bibliocraft that we could make today. So I kind of want to uh, make this a little bit cooler before I'm going to show you uh, the portal and that kind of stuff. Because that was right here, but now it's all different. Um, so yeah, I kind of explored a little bit. Like... A lot actually around this whole area and in the end I came to the conclusion that the spot that we're at it's not even half bad <laughs> like there's way worse spots around us um, so I'm gonna basically the conclusion is that I'm mostly going to stay here and I am going to do some other stuff in other um, places but the big stuff that we're going to do is in whole different dimensions like Tropicraft and uh, Twilight Forest and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going, that's the plan at least for now. So the username is Pikachu0813. Awesome. Hi Pikachu. And you're from episode 5. Pika. Oh, whoopsie. Should have done it. Oh, top line. Oh, OCD. Oh, OCD. So 5. Pikachu08. 13. Awesome. So this episode is not going to be as long since I'm on holiday. You guys uh, could have known that if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I didn't really live stream either since episode 4. But if you want to see me live streaming, which I do a lot, you can check it out on uh, twitch.tv slash fantabulous. Or if you want to just get a notif uh, notification on your uh, Twitter timeline when I'm going to stream, you can follow me on Twitter at fantabulous. Um, so that's that out of the way also again. Uh, so we made our statue. Bibliocraft we're going to do in a second, but first I'm going to show you what changed. Well, I changed um, the, the chest and that kind of stuff. And I put an extra crafting table because I came to the conclusion that some items cannot be crafted in the crafting station. I made a, a nice stack of that. So it's clean here and we can put some nice furniture right here. Now I made this a little bit down so I can actually see those two chests. And I made some extra chests for dyes and food, which I will upgrade soon probably. Uh, with also a nice stained clay and if we go down here I'm actually it's still ugly but I'm going to make this my portal area with all my colored portals so my green portal that we made last time I put it right here and if we go in it because I explored a little bit we come right here where I actually placed it um, if you can see on the map it's quite a cool island with some stuff around it so I think this will be pretty cool to make some some houses and to explore a little bit there's probably some some cave systems under the sea that's mostly the case so i really hope that and then we can make some awesome cool stuff here and there's something over there that we can explore actually you know we're gonna explore that right now why not you know otherwise we're only going to make bibliocraft items oh look there's also a, a there's already a cave system and there's a light tower over there so that's good some piggies that's awesome um why is my arm like this 
Ah, oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. I was in my, I was in my thoughts again. <laughs> Don't mind my thoughts. Um, so let's go in here. I hope this is safe, because I have the feeling this is going to be a painful experience. I don't have any blocks to get up there. Let me get a, uh, let me get some blocks right here, so I can get over there. What the heck is that? I see no mob spawners yet, so that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> So let's see here. Let's place one here and one here. This is awesome. So I'm going to... Uh... Okay, there's a mob spawner. No idea what it is. It's a blaze spawner. Okay, that's that's not going to end well. Um, I don't have the armor for that to fight blazes. And uh, so let's do that. Let's do that later. I can actually try to go in and run away back to the portal. But since it's soul sent, I'm kind of scared that I will pretty much die. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is not going to act. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Let's get out of here. For our own sake. <laughs> At least we got some nether wards, which we can use later to uh, make our nether ward farm. Uh, so actually, the playing is going quite stable now. I made a, a nice beginning. I got some decent armor. Um, I actually made an extra thing. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to tell you that. I found another lucky block uh, right away over there. I made a, a nice waypoint for it so we uh, know where to find it next time. I'm not going to open it right now because it's quite far away. Um, but yeah, also in the comments I read that people want me to craft some lucky blocks. And that's the only thing I don't want to do. Uh, and I told my, I told that to myself when I added the lucky block mod. That I don't want to make lucky blocks. Because they're really cheap to make. And the stuff they can give is can be quite overpowered. And oh my god. So so much lag because of this portal. So um, yeah, that's, that's one of the things. Like it only costs 8 gold or something. And I really don't want to, uh, want to do that. So that's that. Let's see what we can make for Bibliocraft. So these are some nice bookcases. We could we could do that. Bookcase looks cool. We could also make a potion shelf. Spruce map frame. Don't think we really need that. A disc rack. We got some discs. That will be cool. We can make a table. A potion shelf. I'm not really a, a potion crafter. That's not really my uh, my biggest interest. I'm not I'm not sure what this is. A jungle case. Let, let's make it soon. An oak tool rack. Okay, that's quite cool. I actually want to make that. That's going to be awesome. So for that we... And, and a desk. No idea what we can do with a desk. Probably write books. What's all this stuff? Oak, oak seats. Different seats. Screw gun. No idea what that is either. But we can make that too. Oh! By the way! Before we do this! Oh! I totally forgot! We are... I found this stuff. Also this stuff by the way. A Tome of Alcrahast. And I checked what it can do. And you can use it to make weird items and it won't disappear itself. Like you can make... Uh, you can duplicate items a little bit, I think, here. With with four Lapisazuli and diamonds, you can get two diamonds and stuff. So that's quite cool. But I also found these gunpowder weapon... Um, or at least the, the research, so I kind of want to use those. I only already learned myself Ballistics 1 uh, to try it out. And I'm not sure what it does, but... Um, I learned stuff now, and maybe I can craft more stuff? I don't know. So, that's that. Okay, let's go back to our bibliocraft. So I kind of want something like a, a, a book, some tool racks or a bookshelf here, and then maybe a little table next to my bed. That would be cool. So let's see if we can do that. Let's first make a, a tool rack. Where's the tool racks? Um, it's probably going to end up being a jungle tool rack. Which would actually fit these uh, these walls. So let's do that. Let's take our jungle wood out there. We're probably going to need a lot. Or there's still some jungle planks in there. Oh, whoops. Whoops. There's only one jungle plank in there. That's not a lot. We're going to need way more. Okay, so let's take some some planks right here. And make, make some slabs. Uh, I think most of these things are based on slabs. So let's let's create a nice bunch of them. Now let's see a tool rack. We need some iron. So let's get our iron right here, minerals, and let's craft that into something. Was it like, oh, whoops, was it like this? It is. Awesome. Now can I, do I need to place it on the floor or hang it up? Can I only hang it up? 
That's kind of... Yeah, that's not really super. Can I? Where's my axe? Where shall we put it then? I could put it above my bed. That would be cool, but I think I will maybe suffocate then. So that, let's let's put it right here, so that we, if we put some really strong swords in there and we get those, we can just grab them before we go out. So that would be really cool. So let's make another one of those then. That would be quite nice for the similarity. So that would be awesome, cool. Now we have two tool racks. Let's see if I can put a diamond sword in there. Oh, we can actually put more tools in there. That's quite cool. And how do I get them out? Right click. That's awesome. I like that a lot. I actually have more diamond swords that I found in some loot chest. But um, that's that. Now we want a table. Probably a jungle table again. So I need two normal ones and three half slabs. And we have a jungle table. Let's put it right next to our bed. Now I'm really going to pray that we can put stuff on there. Which I'm not sure... We actually can. That's awesome. What shall we put on the on the table? Um, not some armor. That would be stupid. We can put some food on there. Maybe one piece of bread. And maybe like a music disc. Because we have free cats anyways. Free cat music discs. So let's put that there. Can I put more on there? Ah, no, I can only put one thing on there. Oh, it put my whole stack on there. No, thank you. Let's put only bread on there. Just because, you know, that's our breakfast. That's our breakfast, and I'm going to put that right there. Awesome. Now let's see if we can make a bookcase. That would be awesome. Jungle book. Free, free, free. Cool. I can remember that, I think. So, something like... Oh, whoops, I missed one. But that's not very important. There we go, a bookcase. I'm not sure how wide this one is. That's not wide. I thought it would be including books. That's kind of a... Uh... That's kind of a pity, because I was hoping it would be filled with books. And now it's not, which sucks. Uh, let's make this then. A pressure plate, two sticks and some wool. We need some wool for that. Let's see. Uh, do I still have sticks, pressure plate? No. Let's see. A pressure plate is made like this. Then we have a pressure plate. We have a slab. Was it a slab? Uh, I need two sticks first. There we go. Two sticks, a wooden slab, a pressure plate, and some wool. And we have a chair. Can we put the chair right next to the table? That will make sense. Oh, I can actually sit on the thing. That's awesome. I can I can just eat my bread right here. That's amazing. I really like that. Uh, let's see if we can make something else that's cool. Um, wait. Did we make that yet? Did we? Where's my checklist? I just thought of something. Did we make our magic yarn? No, we didn't make our step. We didn't make our magic yarn. And now we actually have wool, so we can do that. That's amazing. Let's do that. Where's our compass that we made? There's our compass. If I'm not mistaken, it was the compass in the middle and then surrounded by wool. Then we have our magic yarn. We do. That's awesome. I'm so happy I have that. Okay, let's see if I can use it. So, um... Let's, I can't sleep through the night, probably. No, let's fight these monsters first. And then go to sleep, skip the night. And then I will show you what Magic Yarn Mod does. Exactly. Hey, skeleton, sir. Come on. You're slow, bro. There we go. Tons of bones. Nothing special. That sucks. I was hoping there would be cool stuff. but uh, Nope. No can do. Let's sleep. And then I'm going to show you how the Magic Yarn mod works because I'm really stoked about that mod. Because I'm I'm someone that I'm I'm like not a walking atlas or like not a walking compass because I'm really bad with directions. So basically, uh, for me this is going to be handy. So let's say we go into our uh, cave system right here. So let's say the house is our cave, right? Okay, we right click it here if I'm not mistaken. Then we just go walking and we go down here. I'm not sure if it works with doors. Let's leave the door open just in case. <laughs> in case something goes wrong, that would be terrible. And now I'm like, oh my god, I have found some diamonds here. And I mine them. I'm like, oh, how am I going to get back? And I think it's right click. Or not. And I destroyed it. 
Oh, there we go. See, okay, cool. So we made one waypoint, and now this is our second waypoint. And now I can remove everything. Okay, let's try again. I think it was because of the doors. That must have been it. Oh, scary sounds. Let's try it again over here. Let's say uh, this is where we start. We press right click. Now it made a waypoint over there. And now we go deep in our cave. Blah, 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 blah. We go down here and the nice minion thing. And then we press right click again. And now it lights up the whole path. The fastest path, actually. To... Well, I'm not sure how you want me to do this. Mr. Yarn, but that's not going to happen. So, wants me to go through water too. Anyways, so, yeah, that's how that works. Let's delete all these waypoints. So, that's going to be very handy for me in cave systems on the live streams and that kind of stuff. So, let's put that right in our tools. And let's see what we can make more with the bibliocraft. I kind of want to try one of these lanterns. But I'm not sure if it will make me happy. Do I have glowstone? I don't even have glowstone dust, I think. I can't even make that yet. That sucks. Um, let's see. Let's let's make this. This looks cool. Or, you know what? What do we find if we look on book? Bookcase. Bookcase. Oh, that's our bookshelves. You know what? Let's make more of those bookcases. And just... Uh, Try to fill them with books because I need an enchantment table soon anyways because I have 34 levels and I can't use it yet because I don't have an enchantment table. So I kind of want to put that on books and just keep it for later uh, in case I need it. So let's take our bookcase right out here and let's um, probably going to make two of them. That would be kind of cool. Oh, I don't have enough wood. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Also don't have enough slabs. Oh, this is going perfect. Look at this. The skill, the skill level is... Oh, wait, I actually do have enough now. <laughs> oh, so funny. So awesome. What a great day. Great day this is for mankind and Fantabulous kind. Fantabulous kind is a very rare kind. And it's also pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, so there we have a book cases. Do we have a book? We have this stupid book with the pet dead manual. We could put that in there probably. Yeah, we can. Uh, do we have some more books? We have this Tome of Elkanus with another pet dead manual. Let's put it all in there. Because why not? Does it get put everywhere where... Okay, that's kind of cool. Can I read it? Ah, okay. This is quite cool. Awesome. So now we have a nice bookcase. That's awesome. I'm going to eat some food real quick. And... That is probably going to cut us for this episode. Because I'm going on holiday. And I, the central thing about the Odyssey is user interaction. And I really don't want to ruin that. So today is a kind of a short episode. We didn't do a lot. But next time we're going to do way more. I can promise you that. I'm also going to live stream again next week. So that's going to be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see what I, or if you want to have any influence on what I'm going to do next time. Leave it in the comment section below. I can look at that and maybe I do exactly what you say. And I put the comment in the next video. And I put your statue right there. It's going to be totally awesome so thank you guys so much if you would leave a like it would be highly appreciated and if you want to see more stuff like this press the subscribe button uh, and thank you so much for watching